So, LR int Super Saiyan 4 Goku is finally officially in game. And we're just going to take a look at him here. 55% Link level 1. I did put some equips on this guy, right? Level 5 defense, level 5 additional. These are EX skill orbs that I'm getting from the daily events. So you definitely want to be getting these done. Um, they're just... It's free, it's free equips, right? Power wishes, you know, Goku family. Like, you want to get these done as much as you can. So, this guy's leader skill. Uh, GT Hero, full power. Categories, key 3 and 170%. Then, his additional 30% is to hybrid or pure Saiyan allies, which is really good. I want to cover as well, super attack effects. Raises defense for 4 turn on his 18 key. Mega Colossal Damage. On his 12th key, he raises defense for the turn, causes colossal damage, and also greatly lowers attack, right? So that's pretty much it for him uh, in terms of linkage. Uh, we're just going to go ahead and have him like this. We're going to get full 24 key. Now, this guy wants to be ran in slot 1. Uh, he gets 20% damage reduction just as a baseline. But if he's in the first slot, he gets an additional 70% defense and 20% damage reduction. He also gets one key per key sphere obtained, which is very, very nice, right? Um, and that's on top of his three key and 150% attack and defense at the start of turn. Now, this guy does want to receive an attack. Once he receives an attack or dodges an attack, right? What happens is he gets 70% attack for the same turn and 70% defense for three turns, right? So he's right there at an 8.4 million attack stat, um, which is quite good for a free do 55%. I see right there he crit um and you're like oh well why did he crit i don't have any crit in my hidden potential system when he performs a super attack he gets 70 percent extra attack but if it's an ultra super attack he also gets a 50 percent chance to crit and that's pretty much all this guy is doing in his normal super saiyan 4 form again i wouldn't say he's doing anything like out of this world crazy but i think he is looking pretty decent for what he's able to provide early on right you really aren't gonna see this guy outside the first three turns i feel like if you're running this guy in slot one like he's intended you're gonna be able to see him get his full standby conditions right so i guess i'll kind of elaborate more on that for regarding his standby this super saiyan 4 goku by the way the friend is also uh full link level ones he does actually have an offense equip i just show right here bam right there uh, a little bit of extra offense so he's pretty similar to mine he'll be doing slightly higher attack sets right but overall the same thing but again uh this goku he can go to standby once he receives five attacks right and the thing about that is that it could be very very difficult to receive those five attacks as you know especially in like events like this where these you know characters aren't really attacking too much during like the turn right um, but once you receive five attacks, you can go into standby, and that makes this guy go into Ubu and Super Saiyan 4 Goku. And after that, you could potentially go into full power Super Saiyan 4 Goku, which is that's where this guy is like, you know, actually really, really crazy. So I, I definitely want to use this guy a lot to see, okay, how consistent is it going to be based on what I'm understanding and like what I've seen in terms of gameplay with, you know, other people using the goku my own experience with using the goku so far and just my knowledge of how the game works in general i feel like most of the time you won't be able to stand by with oob until you're on the fifth turn um like right here i i, I might i can't miss on purpose that's the issue i wish i could miss the super attack on purpose but the key, the key is too good so even on this situation um well, his 18 key is a, it's a other, right? See, because he can't, can't nullify this uh, super attack, right? It really does suck. So wait, what is his defense here? Yeah, okay, he's at 400k defense sort of turn. That 70% extra defense still has it activated, and he has, again, 40% reduction. He does raise his defense for four turns, so he also is getting another defense raise on a super attack effect, which I feel like his defense right here, like link level 1, 55%. It probably is reaching about 600 ish K with 40% reduction. Concerning, like, you know, again, this guy, he can get to much, much higher heights if you link level him. I mean, <laughs> let's look at his link set Super Saiyan, 5 extra attack, 
Uh, stalking speed, 5% extra defense. GT, 10% attack and defense. Prepared for battle, 5% extra attack and defense. Saiyan Roar gives another 10% defense. First battle and legendary power give extra attack, 5% for each of those things. So, this guy does get quite a lot from his links. Um, I'll go ahead and do this. We'll let full power Super Saiyan 4 Goku stand next to himself. I mean, he does share most of his links. I think that he's a better linking partner for this guy than the GT Goku and Vegeta, right? Okay, let's see. What is this guy going to take on the super attack? It should be double digits. Yeah, that's figured. This Oceana Shenron doesn't really hit hard enough where I'm going to be like, yeah, he's not going to do too much. So, last time we saw, what, a 9.8 million attack size. So, he did 10 mil on his normal Super Saiyan 4 form with a high chance to crit. He can get, obviously, again, much higher than what we're seeing there. So, I'm liking him so far from just farm the Dokkan event, use this guy. Um, he's seeming pretty solid for, again, for what he's intending to be. He's not intending to be, like, the best unit in the game on the first three turns. And I feel like in a lot of events that are more difficult, let's say, let's say if we're taking him into Metal Cooler Core, if we're taking him into even Broly, if we're going to take him into Sin Shenron, um, you're usually going to get five hits in, even, like, the Cell Max boss man. You're usually going to get five hits in by the time you reach turn five right and i think that is perfectly fine right um in a lot of situations going into uber in turn five uber is quite quite powerful and we'll get to uber when we can uh i don't know this we can't still can't stand by here right if i'm not mistaken let's see yeah see we still cannot stand by just yet i'm going to use this here just so we could heal um We'll get another just good amount of key here. We'll just keep stacking with our units. And then what I think I'll do is I'll... I don't want to stand by with this one. I want to stand by with mine. Well, I guess it doesn't really matter. It doesn't really matter. Um. So we'll just... I, I, I kind of do want to stand by with mine, though. Just because so, I don't want any, like, attack equips on there. So we'll do this. We'll get one more stat here with him. And, yeah, okay. So now his full passive is activated. 8.34 without support. Looking pretty so it's good so far, okay. So once we see the attack in, I'll just skip ahead until we actually get Ooh out. Um, this should be, again, double digits. Very, very easy. Yeah, okay, looking good. Let me get into Ooh, and then we'll come right back once that's able to be done. All right, so now we have the standby to Ooh available for us right here. And that should be looking pretty good. So let's go ahead and play this animation. Let's get this in here. And let's see what Oob uh, is looking like. All right, so here we have Oob. I'll also, um, yeah, I should transform with the Super Saiyan 4 Gogeta as well. So, the thing with Oob, obviously, as a standby character uh, that fills up a bar, he actually cannot attack, right? Very, very important to consider. He gets 300% defense, 10% damage reduction per key sphere obtained, and then he gets guard if three more key spheres are obtained. But this is only on the first turn from appearing. So only on this first turn, he gets the damage reduction and guard. Right here, we could see we're able to get six orbs. So we're going to get 60% damage reduction, guard, and then our defense is 397k. So he's pretty much going to still be invincible. He does lose out on some links, though. Uh, he loses Saiyan Roar for tough as nails. Fuse Fighter uh, was prepared for battle, and then he loses Super Saiyan for solid support. So it does suck for like this Super Saiyan 4 Gogeta. I mean, funny, I was talking with Truth uh, on this on stream earlier. Literally, this exact scenario where he loses out on Saiyan War, and then he gets like super dead, and then he dies, right? Um, or he takes a lot more damage than he usually would. So, how this Oob charges up the standby skill is he gets two charges per int or rainbow keys for obtained. So we can see right here, we're getting six orbs. This should give us 12 charges right here. 
But yeah, I'm okay. And then per non uh, rainbow or t like per non rainbow or int key sphere we get, that it will actually charge the bar up by one. So we see right here, we should get um, a total of this should be five charges, right? So 12, it should turn to 17. As we see right there, very perfect. Okay. And again, we want to charge it up all the way to full. Um, Oops should be like pretty again invincible here. He's getting guard and 60% damage reduction. He's looking quite good. He also does create random type of non in key spheres that are type key spheres to in key spheres, which is good. And he nullifies unarmed super attacks. Not really going to be too common. We'll see that. But in certain situations, you may be able to see that, which will be pretty good. Now, the standby. Uh, once we actually, you know, could use the standby skill, the finish skill specifically. There's one that could be activated when your charge count is 29 or below. Which is very, very rare to get. I don't think you're going to be very commonly getting that specific charge like under 29 or below and transforming with oob i think that's almost like impossible to get as long as you like aim your orbs correctly or you could do one if your charge counter is 30 or above which is the one you're most likely going to see all the time and you'll evolve into full power super saiyan 4 goku which that guy well when, when you get to him you'll see but he's he's really 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 insane um but again we'll grab this right here these in key spheres bam we'll grab this right here and then we are guaranteed to get the 30 key spheres right there which is very very nice and now next turn we're gonna have big boy out to play full power super saiyan 4 goku so again uh i guess one other thing i didn't talk about oob does provide support key threw in 70 percent defense to all allies for two turns so last turn and then this turn uba supporting the entire rotation three key and 70 percent defense that's quite a lot that is going to be a really big difference in terms of tanking and again that just shows you more that uba is designed for you to really only have them for that first turn from that second from the third turn you're usually going to want to use the standby skill i guess i didn't talk about like if you don't reach 29 uh, charges and you use the standby skill, you do recover 30% HP and you get three key for three turns, right? Which is, you know, okay, I guess, right? So now we could use the standby skill here to turn into full power Super Saiyan 4 Goku. And I'll show y'all uh, the animation right here. Oh, cause anyway, I didn't turn off the, uh, yeah, I don't want to skip it, right? <laughs> Okay, so um, we have him right here. Full power Super Saiyan 4 Goku. Now, this guy, yeah. when he's like this, he's like the best unit in the game. Most definitely. So, he has a 77% HP recovery. Uh, he gets 7 key, 200% attack and defense at the start of turn. He guards for the first turn that he appears. And he has guaranteed crits for the first 3 turns he appears, which is obviously very, very strong. Um, he also gets 2 keeper keys for obtained. Uh, okay, well thanks for Axel for subscribing here. He also gets 150% attack on super attack, which is huge. That's a giant number. Then he also has a great chance to crit. Um, on top of that, he also gets 59% attack and guarantee crits if he's at 24 key. Once he receives an attack or evades an attack, he gets five turns of 77% extra defense, which is multiplicative. In the first slot, it's the same how he was in the first slot where he got a total of 40% reduction, but now it's a total of 50%, 25% baseline, and 25% at the start of turn. Uh, well, in the first slot, right? Then he also gets another 77% defense in the start of turn. Just, uh, I mean, I love in the first slide, just hey, there's a lot going on with this guy, and I'm still kind of new to it, so that's why I kind of flubbed in some of the words. But right here, uh, he should be looking really, really strong. He does not have to get attacked to get his full attack passive anymore. So he's at a 16 million attack stat. Again, this is 
Link level one, Super Saiyan 4 Goku, full power, right? Guaranteed crit 16 mil. Look at that sweet KO screen, by the way. Um, that's really good. Uh, I don't know. There's not really much else I have to say about it, except that that's really, really strong. Um, I could use this again, and we probably will use this, use it again, because Oob can actually can't attack, right? So since Oob can't attack, this will help us out. Um, and we'll do a lot less damage in this turn than we usually would be able to, which is pretty helpful. Then we could just collect all this in key sphere that we can get the other Super Saiyan 4 Goku out, right? So that's pretty fun. <laughs> okay, this actually worked out quite well so far. Yeah, you could get two oobs out, but again, you have to keep in mind you can't use more than one of the standby skills at the same time for the same character, right? So you won't be able to get both full power Super Saiyan 4 Gokus out unless you're like turn 12 right like literally right here we'll see like turn 12 turn 10 you have, you're gonna have to wait that long to get both of them out if you want um and unfortunately you can't really link them together either because the super saiyan 4 gokus want to be in slot one but again yeah uh, last turn goku he was probably reaching near like 800 kh defense even at link level one with 50 percent reduction in guard which is just absolutely insane are you kidding me that sucks. Uh, okay, at least he, he, he has to be in slot 1 for the defense and the reduction, but we'll just keep him right here. Um, we'll hope this guy doesn't really kind of go too crazy. Uh, I don't have any more Sensu. So right here, we're actually going to get all 7 links. So I guess that's good to show, right? All 7 links, no support, 55%. Yeah, so he's at 556, uh, 53k defense here. He has the same four turn defense rather than a super attack effect, right? So he still needs to build up a little extra defense. And and slot one, he'd get 50% reduction and an extra 77% defense. Dude, are you kidding me? We're not gonna counter this, huh? You're so annoying. Let me, um. Uh, is, is that all I need to show? I don't know. Um. Let, let me see. Okay, so I wanted to get this rotation in here just because why not? Um, all links active. We're getting the full support from this Shichi Vegeta. He's not going to kill. Um, so we're going to grab that here. And we should be looking pretty good, I think. Um, I actually didn't get hit with him, but this is going to be just a really strong offensive turn for this guy. We'll see how well he's going to do. Yeah, I... I don't think they're gonna kill question mark i mean if he crits does he kill no he doesn't okay we're good okay well you got the double super but it's fine so this gives us the 40 percent attack raise on his normal super attack right um dude he almost killed actually that's kind of crazy um so yeah 19 mil attack stat this is just just him existing right uh 55 percent level one no attack skill orbs guarantee crits uh, he's, he's crazy he could do really really good damage so yeah that's pretty much it for a super saiyan 4 goku here nothing else i really wanted to show uh we've got a good amount of full power his normal base form we saw what oob could do i think i am pretty satisfied so this is the general gist of this guy let me know what you guys think about him thanks for watching and i'll catch you next time